What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I am gonna be doing a video I've never ever done before. So today I will be unboxing Lord Spryzen Hasbro for, and I will be reviewing him. But first, let's get to what type he is. So he is a balance type and he can spin right or left. And then his attack, here are his stats. His attack is right here, if you wanna see, if you're interested in his attack. His burst is zero, but his defense is three. His weight is, he's pretty heavy. I mean, like, he's not the heaviest. His agility is four, and his stamina is nine, guys. So let's get unboxing him and reviewing him. At the end of this video, I will tell you. Three, two, one, let it in. That looks pretty cool, guys. He is going insane. Let's test out some battles with him. And then I have Max Garuda, guys. So at the end, we're gonna make him battle Max Garuda. Okay, so, like he, it looks like he's about to stop, but it's like he just spins and spins. So I'm gonna get the first challenger. Emperor Fornius, light up. Three, two, one, let it rip. Three, two, one, let it rip. Oh, Lord Spryzen is going insane mode on Emperor Fornius. Emperor Fornius. Takes that way. Okay, again. First one, the three points wins. So, for who's better than them? Performance. Three, two, one, let it rip. Okay. Three, two, one, let it rip. Ring out finish. Lord is prizing with a ring out finish. The score is one to one. Okay, guys. So, it's tied. Next, how about we do this and um, the next two points win. Emperor Fornius. Three, two, one, let it win. I'm actually, well, I really want to try this one. Three, two, one, let it win. Oh, well, Spice will take the lead. Who will win? Looks like Emperor. Okay guys, so Emperor Fornius barely won that, barely. Okay, I feel something fishy about Lord Spryzen. But this time to make it more fair, Lord Spryzen will be on his launcher. Three, two, one, let's play. Three, two, one, let it play. Emperor Fornice is actually a pretty good of a challenge, okay? Because, like, I have some bays that are pretty good that can't be Emperor Fornice. So, it's actually pretty tough, guys. So, don't judge Spryzen if he loses. Because this actually, he's doing pretty good for a Beyblade against Emperor Fornice. Emperor Fornice barely won that. But I'm going to get a different Beyblade. Okay, guys. So, right here, there's a little tape. So, that is why I'm first going to pull this piece out. And then this piece. So, and do you know why I'm doing this? Because this actually will help me with the tape. Oh, just broke the box, but big deal, big deal. If you guys should comment down below, like the video, and subscribe if you know what Beyblades are. Okay, guys. So, this is his launcher. He has a great first impression on me. So, this is his launcher. Three, two, one, let it rip. Okay, guys, so this is his top. 
This is his middle and this is his bottom. But let's just like unbox them. Like, finally! So here's his middle. His middle is pretty cool, guys. Here's a full 360 degree. You can also hear something. I don't know if you can hear that. Okay, now his top. So here's his top. I'm I don't know if this is rubber or not, but here's his top, guys. And then this is how he switches modes with his launcher, or we can use a normal launcher instead. But or we can just do this. But guys, so you see right here. So usually we would like. Get the back of the launcher, although this is a little different. We would like get it and then we would lock it down and then twist it so it'll switch modes. But this is actually pretty cool. So so far he looks cool. And now the final piece is his bottom. I'm gonna need an assistant to battle me with these Beyblades. So I'm gonna call over my sister if she wants to battle. Paula, would you like to battle with me? Paula, I think she's upstairs. I have no idea where she is. Okay, guys, and if you don't know how to build a Beyblade, so you get the bottom and you see the middle right here, these two pieces, this fits perfectly in there. So then you put it in and then you twist. Surprising's hard, not gonna lie. There. Yes, okay, guys, so this is how he looks in his full form. So now let's try to test out some, should we do launches? I mean, I'm probably just gonna go get my Snake Pit Stadium, okay? Then it's like a few. Okay guys, so I'm making um, his utter form. Uh, Spryzen versus Spryzen. It's Spryzen versus Spryzen. I, I forgot what that green Spryzen's name was, okay? So don't judge me, okay? I forgot what that green Spryzen's name was. I was like, I remembered it while we were bring, well, I, I remembered it for a second, but I forgot it now. Ty. Sheesh. Okay guys, so now this will be the next point wins. Spryzen is pretty good. Lord of Spryzen. Three, two, one, let it Three, two, one, let it Guys, I just remembered the green Spryzen's name. It's Spryzen Requiem. So it's Spryzen Requiem versus Lord of Spryzen. Look at boat bays. Who will take this lady? Another tie. I feel so bad for my camera lady. If she, if you want, you can take a break. Do you want to take a break? I mean, you can if you want to. So tell me when you, if you want to break if you want to. Three, two, one, let it rip. Three, three, two, one, let it rip. Looks like, oh, I forgot the green Spryzen's name again. You seriously need a break, don't you? Okay, guys, so this is going to wrap it up. So Spryzen ties at Spryzen Requiem, which is actually pretty good. So I would recommend him, but just to let you know, if you go to a World Championship Battles, you maybe first bring a ton of bays to, and find out what, which, which bay your opponent's going to use because he has a disadvantage against some bays, but he has a huge advantage against other bays. 
Okay, guys, make sure to like and subscribe and turn on those post notifications. Bye and peace out.